everyone. Uh, I'm Sisla from Omniflix and uh, a contributor to StreamSwap as well. Uh, before you know, we can get started, this is a pretty cool design. You know, that was worked on uh, by the Osmosis team, you know, utilizing Boss Mountain. And if you guys actually watch Naruto, you know, this is the Rasengan from you know, Naruto. So you know, not a lot of anime fans here, but you know, this is pretty cool. All right, so what is stream swap? So how many of you actually know what is stream swap? Can you please raise your hand? Okay, thank you. Uh, how many of you actually participated in the in a stream swap stream? Yeah? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. So stream swap is the interchain launchpad that's live right now on Osmosis. Right? These are a set of smart contracts that are deployed on Osmosis. And stream swap is based on time. Like it's a time-based swap protocol, so you'll understand what I mean by that. So let's quickly talk about time as a paradigm, right? You have what are instant token swaps on Osmosis at this point in time. You have Uniswap on Ethereum with instant token swaps. But imagine if you can swap tokens over a period of time, right? So this is what StreamSwap is enabling, and at this point in time, this is being utilized as an interchain launchpad where we had multiple assets that launched, and I'll get into the numbers a bit later. So when we talk about time, there are multiple protocols that are working on time-based you know, models. So you have uh, projects like Superfluid, you know, StreamPay on Omniflix. So these are time-based token transfers. So if you want to pay someone right now or transfer tokens to someone, you got to do it instantly. But there is a way where you can send them tokens block by block, second by second, you know, day by day you know, over a period of time. So if this is uh, time-based token transfers, you have what is like Skyward or Near, which, you know, inspired StreamSwap a bit. And these guys plan for auctions that are run over a period of time. So you had hour by hour auctions for a token launch, and price got discovered that way. Then you have Uniswap v4, which is introducing hooks, again, you know, in a time-based format. But uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so Uniswap v4 with their hooks model is introducing, you know, TWAMs or time-based, you know, AMM pools where the protocol itself is connected to the AMM pool and, you know, magic can happen that way. So moving on from there, how did StreamSwap start? It initially started off with an osmosis and then, you know, multiple contributors picked up. So we started off with a Cosmos SDK-based module in 2022, and then moved on to write smart contracts in Cosmosum awesome and launched in April of 2023. Again, so if you are a project, if you are a DAO, right, you should be able to go ahead and plan to utilize StreamSwap. If you are a community pool, if you are a foundation, you can utilize StreamSwap as well to diversify your community pool. So what do I mean by that? You can go ahead, select a token to stream, you can select a subscription token, which is the token with which your own token is swapped. And then you set a start date, you know, a stream start date and an end date, and of course a treasury account to which funds are, you know, the proceeds of the launch, you know, go to. There are two phases for stream swap. So you have what is a bootstrapping phase where people can or subscribers can deposit or lock their tokens. And then you have what is a streaming phase where the tokens are swapped. And I'll quickly run you through a few images so that you better understand. The first one being, let's assume that there is a token called Foo, right? One million of these. And then we are accepting Osmo, you know, for in exchange for the Foo token, right? In this case, there are the pool or the stream swap stream starts with zero Osmo, right? There is no need of a collateral token. So if you're familiar with LBPs, right, LBPs needed a collateral token. But with respect to stream swap, you do not need a collateral token, right? Here, there is no activity. This is just a configuration. Moving on to the next phase, the bootstrapping phase, this is when you have the million foo still, you know, within the contract. They're not swapped. But you have subscribers depositing Osmo. Right? And these deposits, they don't get swapped until the streaming phase starts. So during the streaming phase, both tokens get swapped over a period of time. 
right? And this determines or this gives rise to the fact that price discovery happens entirely led by the community, right? And uh, if this is the streaming phase, at the end of the streaming phase, all of the Osmo tokens go to the project, and all of the project's tokens go to all the subscribers. So this way, the swap com gets completed. And in this case, one Foo token is equal to one Osmo token. right? And depending on total Osmo received, the price of the Foo token is determined. right? So what did we do up until now, or where are we at with stream swap from April? right? We went ahead with nine streams in all, or there were nine streams that were uh, launched as part of stream swap. Six assets launched as part of StreamSwap, and there were there was almost 2.56 million USD that was raised as part of the StreamSwap launch. So all these six assets put together, you know, bought on board this liquidity of 2.56 you know million dollars for their respective projects, and this is all in three supported tokens. Now imagine if the total tokens like you know increase. So we support Osmo, we support Atom and AXL USDC. So if you are a project and are looking to you know, raise utilizing these tokens, you know, this should be pretty, StreamSwap should be pretty helpful. And we've had a total of 7,000 subscribers you know, that participated in various StreamSwap streams and 18K plus transactions. So this has like, proven that a community-driven model can exist within the Cosmos. And if you have the right community, they'll support you. right? points to consider before you're going ahead and you know planning for a stream swap stream right first you got to get your own tokens the streaming token strategy right so how many tokens would you want to allocate you know when do you want to tell your folks that your community about the allocation you know is it decided as part of the tokenomics and so on and so forth uh, the subscription token strategy is also important. Do you want to raise in Atom, Osmo, or a stable coin? And uh, you should be in a position to understand not just, yeah, you should be able to facilitate the swap, not just in like volatile tokens, but also stable tokens. Now with concentrated liquidity and so on and so forth, you have a lot more opportunity there. Right? Then testing on testnet, this is pretty basic, but you know it is important. Uh, yeah, to be able to do that like perfectly well, so that you you do not be, so that you are not anxious when you are going ahead with the mainnet stream. Now, increasing awareness about the stream like well in advance has been pretty important, right? And this leads to increased participation. People can be more prepared, and yeah, these are you know some of the lessons that we learned you know after uh, nine streams. Education within the community is also important because stream swap, Cosmos, you know all of these are pretty new. Right? People need to be educated, and we have like excellent tools like Squid, you know, the, and Axlar that facilitate cross-chain transfers, you know, from across ecosystems. The future for StreamSwap, quite a few points, but let me run you through these one by one. So at this point in time, StreamSwap is operating on the front end, you know, on the back end, anyone can create a stream, but on the front end, it is being curated so that the right streams, you know, make it to the ecosystem. But eventually, this will be you know, completely permissionless, you know, even on the front end, right? And people can deploy their own launch pages. So you know, launch.projectname.com can lead you to your uh, project's stream swap stream. Right? So if that is one, we have what is a threshold for bootstrapping and streaming phases? What are thresholds, right? Like if there is a minimum number of Osmo that is received during the bootstrapping phase, only then the streaming phase will continue. Or if you receive, you know, the project can configure an option where they can like have a set ask price or you know have a set threshold where the project might want to like you know swap only if there are a million Osmo, you know, that are received and so on and so forth. So all these like tend to improve the streamer side of experience or the project, you know, that is launching. You have what is uh, CLP, you know, that is uh, coming, yeah, that is already live. You have what are AMM pools. So here we are making sure that a stream swap stream, if it is AMM aware, so if it knows about the AMM, right, then there is a lot that can happen. You know, community pools can utilize stream swap to diversify their community pool into other tokens and completely driven by the community again, right? So they don't have to utilize the community pool to be able to sell to a VC, you know, vested and so on and so forth. Here you can have all of that community driven. Now, for subscribers, you know, what is the future looking like? Active and passive management of their position is important. So, you know, their spend strategy can be determined. So if you want to spend like, you know, 
$100 worth of Osmo or Atom or USDC, you should be able to do that, and you should be able to do it in a range. So only if you're getting the streaming token for a set price you know, is when you want to spend. Otherwise, you might not want to spend. So the protocol takes care of this as well. And you know, of course, upcoming stream notification is very important. And this, has, this is something that was like requested. And with osmosis and having notifications and so on and so forth, <coughs> you know, we should be able to you know, better manage that. Finally, you know, we are, from a community standpoint, we are planning to go ahead with a DAO 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 on Osmosis, you know, and you know that'll be community driven as well. Currently, it is a member membership based DAO, and yeah, collaborations with the ecosystem uh, enablers, you know, multiple accelerators, and finally for NFT projects as well, they can utilize Stream Swap to be able to discover the price for their NFT project and take it forward. So more on that, if anyone is interested, you know, feel free to hit us up. Special thanks, you know, a quick round of thanks to. Sunny, you know, he has helped us, you know, a lot with StreamSwap. They initiated the idea. Quite a lot has happened. Josh, uh, Josh Lee from uh, Kepler, and uh, of course Osmosis. Bora from Kepler and Osmosis. You know, we have the StreamSwap application live on Kepler. This was right from day one, and anyone could access, you know, StreamSwap streams right from mobile. Then we have Aaron, you know, who's here, you know, who has helped us quite a lot, along with Victor, you know, Nick, and uh, Nick. All of them from the Osmosis team, including uh, Robert, who helped us with the Cosmos SDK module initially. Then we have Justin, who helped us with the product design, the beautiful design that you see today. Johnny uh, from Osmosis team, who has helped us with the governance part, you know, making sure that it is all community driven and done right. Uh, then, of course, we have Jeremy, uh, who has helped multiple projects with their pool strategies. Right? And uh, Arkun and team who contributed to the contracts, the Flix crew, and of course the Flix fanatics, uh, sub DAO of the OmniFlix community. Here, you know, this is something that we wanted to like, mention you know, uh, independently. The entire ecosystem got together for this to happen, for StreamSwap to happen. We utilized Cosm Awesome, we utilized Axelar, Squid, Osmosis, Interch like IBC, and multiple projects came down together. And you know, we are very excited to be a part of this ecosystem and want to continue building. So if you are interested to launch your own token, or if your community wants to do that, do not hesitate to check out StreamSwap. Yeah? Thank you all.